what to do if your fiber laser chiller CWFL 2000 is displaying the E2 ultra high water temperature alarm of the laser circuit? Don't worry. This alarm indicates several potential faults with the chiller. Here's a step-by-step -step troubleshooting guide. Use a multimeter to measure the power supply voltage. Then measure the input voltage at points 2 and 4 of the temperature controller with the multimeter. Remove the two screws fixed on the electrical box with a crosshead screwdriver. Then remove the cover of the electrical box. Use the multimeter to measure points and troubleshoot. The results may be due to the following. Check the cooling fan capacitor's resistance and input voltage. The results may be due to the following. Measure the current and capacitance of the compressor during chiller operation under the cooling mode. The surface temperature of the compressor is high when it starts. You can touch the liquid storage tank to check the vibrations. Measure the current on the white wire and the resistance of the compressor starting capacitance. The results may be due to the following. Finally, inspect the refrigeration system for refrigerant leaks or blockages. In case of refrigerant leakage, there will be obvious oil stains at the leak site and the evaporator inlet's copper pipe may frost. In this case, contact a professional welder or return it back to the factory for maintenance. Follow me for more TRU SNA Chiller Maintenance Tips.